reason that we are doing this video because we ask Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta to come to Memphis and sign a trade deal in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, a trade deal in Memphis, Tennessee is not just a trade deal, but a trade deal in Memphis, Tennessee is our way of honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King and Kenyan hero Tom and Boya. Now, what do we mean by a trade deal? In the history of Africa and African Americans, there have never been a trade deal. What do we mean by a trade deal? Now, a trade deal is the creation of a cultural infrastructure that encourages, promotes, develops family, education, commerce, and exchange between America, Americans, and Americans of African descent. All ethnic groups brought their culture and influence to the United States that led to wealth. From the Germans, we got beer. From the French, you can go into homes and we see French provincial furniture. We can see from the Italians, there's pasta, and there's Italian style. From the Orientals, we get Oriental culture and style. Now, we want Kenyan president to come to Memphis, Tennessee. Now, the question that one may ask, why should the Kenyan president come to Memphis, Tennessee? Not only do we want the president to come to Memphis, Tennessee, we want the Kenyan president to visit this home in Orange Mound in Memphis, Tennessee. We can create thousands of jobs in America and Africa through multicultural cooperation. If you come to America and you look at the African American community, you will see that the Orientals, the Asians, the Indians, the Arabs, all ethnic groups of America have made themselves wealthy by tapping the African American market. And Africa has the opportunity or the distinct advantage of African ancestry that we can come together based on the culture and African ancestry to build business and trade and commerce. Now, let me tell you why it is important and why it is important to come to this house here on Sam Street in Memphis, Tennessee. This home in Memphis, Tennessee, as you can see by the doors, we have the largest, the absolute largest display of African products made on the ground in Africa than any place in the world. Now, what I mean by having products that are made on the ground, we made products that can be sold to America in the framework of the tradition and the culture of Africa. In other words, these beautiful doors were made in, was made in Africa without a roof, running water, there was no building, there was no electricity. However, we made such a door on the side of a road. That means within the cultural framework of Africa, we can make multi-billion dollars in business. For example, every home in America has a door. And if you gave people the choice of having a solid, hard core door made out of the adum wood in Africa, they call this iron wood, people would rather have an African door or there's a market for an African door as opposed to a French door 
or an Italian door, but there's a market for an African door and doors can be made. You got a young couple who build a house. If you can present to that young couple that they can have custom made doors that with any kind of illustration and art, a better made door, you can produce a better product at a cheaper price, then you can sell in the American market. One of the things I want to do, I want you to first of all, take a look at myself in Africa, and we are dealing these doors. Let us show you these doors in Africa, and we're going to come back and tell you more as to why the Kenyan president, Yuhuba Kenyatta, should come to Memphis, Tennessee. Today is Thursday, the 13th of October, 2005. I'm at the shop of Mr. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, what's your last name? What's your last name, Emmanuel? Emmanuel Chan. Huh? Chan. Ma uh, Chan. And do it together. And do it. And do the table together. How you doing? I'm doing good. I see you in the hot sun here. Yeah, tell, me, tell me what's going on here. I noticed that you no, framed I'm, I'm some... Not, I'm framing the painting with... The painting, okay. The painting. I have to frame it and finish it with a fine boot standing. And you're going to put a little African touch on the yeah, framing, yeah, on the carving? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is looking so beautiful. The framing of the pictures, I am just pleased. African culture women. Yeah, they, they, they're looking so beautiful. Uh, tell us about the doors. Walk through with us about the doors. What's going on with the doors here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come over here. Let's take a look at the doors. I, I'm, I'm noticing the doors. Everything is looking. I'm gonna finish. So, so now it's almost one last finish on the doors. Yeah, one last two the doors. Yeah. Well, they're looking very good. I'm pleased to just to have this in my house. So here they are. Building things. What do you think, Bogovic? Foundation.